Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Sebastian from Tech Century, and even though EFA 2014 in Berlin hasn't even begun, LG and Samsung already announced their new smartwatches. So in this video, I'm going to give you an overview over the Gear S and also the LG G Watch R. So let's start off by covering the Gear S by Samsung and yes Samsung has announced another smartwatch even though they already announced the Gear Live with Android Wear and also the Gear 2 products earlier this year with Tizen. So this time we actually find a curved 2 inch Super AMOLED display which is certainly a nice change. Now this certainly reminds us also of the Gear Fit because it already had the curved display as well but of course it's more square here on the Gear S. The display itself has a resolution of 360 times 480 pixel so a high resolution for such a small size and then again 2 inch is way bigger than what we've seen on other Gear smartwatches but again because the display is curved this is actually possible. Below the display we also find a home button similar to what we've already known from Samsung tablets and smartphones and the other technical details are very similar to what we've seen before on the Gear 2 for example but this time the camera is missing. So we'll find a 1 GHz dual core processor, 4 GB of onboard storage and then also 512 MB of RAM. An additional feature is the heart rate monitor and the battery has a capacity of 300 milliamp hours so not really a huge battery especially because the display is bigger this time around but it should still get you two days of use and of course with super AMOLED displays you have the advantage that for example if you use just a black background it uses way less energy than if you for example use a colored one so uh, that's still an option to for example just get a better battery life out of the smartwatch now probably the biggest highlight here of the Gear S is the fact that it has a built-in 3G module. So yes, you don't have to connect the smartwatch to your smartphone. You can just basically put a SIM card in it and then make calls and receive calls and also of course get notifications on the watch itself. The bad part about this is that you will actually need to pick up another SIM card probably with unlimited data as well. So I'm not the biggest fan of that, especially because Bluetooth 4.0 low energy doesn't really take too much energy and works also in a good distance. So I'm not the biggest fan of this 3G module here in the Gear S. Now in terms of launch and price, unfortunately we don't have too many informations right now. So probably there will be more information available next week when EFA is officially started. Um, but I would expect a price of around 299 euros or dollars especially considering that we have this built-in 3G module and also the curved AMOLED display. So now let's move on and talk about uh, arguably the more interesting smartwatch right here and that's the LG G Watch R. So we have first seen a trailer a couple of days ago of the smartwatch. It was supposed to be announced at EFA but now we got it a few days early and the LG G Watch R is the first round smartwatch from LG and actually they claim that this is the first smartwatch with a truly uh, circular display because the Moto 360 has this little uh, piece at the bottom, the little strip where all the components are. And yes, the display is fully round here on the LG G Watch R, but we also have to say that the bezels all around are just way bigger than on the Moto 360. Now the display itself is a 1.3 inch P OLED display. So the P is actually for plastic and it's the same kind of display that was also used in the LG G Flex. So hopefully it will be very durable. The resolution is 320 times 320 pixels. Also the OLED technology should improve the battery life, especially again if you have a dark or a black background. In terms of processor, we'll find a Snapdragon 400 processor with 1.2 gigahertz, 512 megabytes of RAM, four gigs of onboard storage, four apps, and on top of that, the G Watch R is water resistant uh, up to one meter for 30 minutes. So it will still work if it is submerged into water. So that's nice to see as well. The casing itself is actually made out of stainless steel, which is very nice to see. And also we'll have a 410 milliamp hour battery. So quite a bit bigger than the 300 milliamp hour that we'll find here on the Gear S. And the battery life should last around two days again. And this time we also get uh, some extra features like a heart rate monitor. Now fortunately, at least here for the LG G Watch R, we already have a price and also availability. So this watch will retail for 299 euros 
or dollars and it will be sold in October. So no specific date, but October should be the launch of this smartwatch. Now, before we wrap up this video, I want to say that I'm quite pleased actually with the new designs that we see right here. The curved Super AMOLED display on the Gear S is certainly nice to see. And also just another round smartwatch here in the G-Watch R. But personally, I have to say, neither of these new devices can actually compete with the Moto 360, at least in terms of design. And I'm certainly gonna wait for next week to see uh, how much the Moto 360 will retail for, when it will be available, because it's still the smartwatch that I really wanna own and that I wanna buy. And unfortunately, these new smartwatches weren't able to actually change anything about that. So hopefully the Moto 360 will be available soon. The Motorola event will be on the 4th of September. So that's next week, so not too long to go. Let me know what you think of the Gear S and also the G-Watch R. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found the information useful. If you like this video, please make sure to like it and also subscribe to the channel for many more tech videos. I'm just excited for the Moto 360, but it's nice to see some more competition out here. Just a shame that the Gear S is actually just running Tizen OS and not Android Wear, so it will only be compatible with Samsung devices once again. And I would really like to see more manufacturers are just producing Android Wear smartwatches because at least they're compatible with all Android smartphones and uh, that's certainly a big plus in my book. So again, thanks for watching and I really hope to see you next time.